Hey there guys, welcome back to Foreign Game Fridays with Sword Art Online Lost Song. As promised, we'll be hopping into uh, this dungeon to complete the quest that we uh, got last time. And also as promised, Kirito is now alone. He will continue to remain alone for the rest of this game. Hello buddy. Uh, there we go. In dungeons, you cannot fly, which can make things interesting. But there's not whoa, a lot of enemies, so we'll just slash them apart. Hello, Mr. Treasure Chest. Whoops. Uh, you might notice that the... Oh, never mind, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here and I'm lying. Ah, hello. Locked. Can't get in without a key. Huh, I wonder what this silver chest is. Oh, well would you look at that. I'm reasonably confident that Japanese says that that's a key. Let's take a look. Oh, hello, what's this? And... A thousand yold to add to our change purse. Yold is the uh, equivalent of the... Whoa. The equivalent of cash. Before a ton of more enemies start spawning, let's uh, hop into the dungeon, deeper into the dungeon here. It's locked. This door is locked, you need a key. Well, let's uh, hop on in. Also, that is totally not what Kirito said. Kirito said there's a boss beyond this door. Do you want to enter? Of course we want to enter. Let's go get him. I don't know where Asuna came from, she's no longer with us. But, let's hop in. First boss fight. Kind of a rehash of the fight we just did outside. Whoa. If... And as, uh... Go. Where's one mini deck? As, uh, what's her name there? Just pointed out. Oh, got a hit there, but that's okay. Oh, got stabbed from the behind. Ow. We need to be beat this boss in order. Oh, hello. To get uh, quest cleared. And let's, uh, oh. Let's try a sword skill. Uh, that, that didn't do much. And as he's now down to half health, yeah, and red health, Yui is telling us that he's changing battle tactics, but as we just obliterated him, doesn't really matter. And with him dead, quest clear. Yay, yay, woo. Jumpy, jumpy. The back door just opened up there. Basically, they're saying, Oh, we, it's so hard of a fight. I can't believe we beat it. But now the quest is clear. Oh, the monster dropped. wonder if you can figure out that one. The monster dropped a rare item. Wow. Uh, I believe she's saying something along the lines of... Oh, no, never mind. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 sorry. Kirito said it's a rare item. Um, and he mentioned that it might have been in a rumor that he heard about it. 
That's when Shinon said, oh, well, isn't it a bad idea to brag to everybody that you just got a rare item? Asuna says, right here, no, I want everybody to be jealous. And Kirito points out that now that the quest is home uh, done, they can head home. Asuna agrees. She's tired, so let's go. We finished this dungeon. Let's get out of here. But before we do, let's head to the back and pick up our lovely reward, the supposed rare item. Uh, hello. There we go. Now, let's get out of here. You'll notice, uh, just a note on gameplay, that uh, our health did not actually regen. Our health does not regen until we go back to a city and and or use a potion, oh, obviously. But that is neither here nor there. What is here is another flashback. This is a somewhat summary of what ALO is, but if you watch the anime, you know exactly what it is. Basically, he's saying that ALO is not a direct copy of SAO, but it was built on the exact same servers, and so all of the character data rolled over from SAO into ALO. Leafa started with ALO, so she didn't really have any old character data. But Asna and, uh, well, pretty much everybody here, Lisbeth, Klein, Shinon from GGO, um, everybody hopped over, including Yui and, uh, Strayanon? I can't remember her name, but anyway. Everybody came to ALO after the SAO incident, and now they all just hang out kind of like they did in SAO. Albeit a little bit more, you know, less death threatening. As this is a flashback, you'll have to think back in time um, for the rest of this context to make sense. But as we spent more time in ALO, we heard more and more about Seven. This is a lovely summary that is completely silent, so just listen to the melodic sound of my voice. Um, as we spent more time in ALO, we heard more and more about Seven. Seven's guild, of which she was the leader, I believe had gone from 50 to 500 people. But even in her guild, which is named Shamrock, the number of people who had actually met Seven was really limited. Uh, Seven's reputation began to actually have an influence with everybody, and because of her, uh, the number of people playing ALO uh, increased. Finally, Seven gave in and agreed to go on a virtual tour of ALO singing. In an interview with a newspaper, Seven was asked how she can possibly do all these things, and if it meant that she was only going to be a part-time scientist from now on. Kirito says, she's an interesting character, this Seven girl. He ne then notes that after a long wait, a version upgrade is finally being installed today. The new area, the one that we've been playing in, um, the one with the city line and or Sky City line and everything, is being released and patched in. Which means that Seven is more accessible. I believe Kirito here says, once we get back to town, I'm going to log out. And Asuna replies, eh, let's tell the city first that we beat the quest, and let's have a party at Eagles. Eagles. 
Oh, no, pardon me. Not have a party. Uh, let's talk to Eagle's party and figure out how his party is doing. Presumably, it's in a... They're working as separate groups, which is why Eagle is not with us. Now... It's time to head straight back. Whee! And try... Uh, try and find our way out of here. For the moment, however, I'm going to take a slight detour. So that I can mention that for translating... Um, whoops, that, whoa, that was... Yeah, let's get out of here. There we go. Uh, for translating, hope you guys are, uh, liking the format. It's, uh, I'm finding this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll play ahead a little bit, I'll translate all the cutscenes... I won't do any exploring or anything but beyond the fact that, you know, I had to beat that boss once already to get to the cutscenes after the fact. And, uh, from there, I just straight up turn off the game without saving at all. Uh, how do I go down? No. Uh, let's go like this. There we go. There we go. And then I can just uh, play again, straight from the get-go. And, oh no. As, uh... And as I've been doing this, I'm trying to leave as much time as possible in between, um... from when I do the translations to when I uh, actually come back and play for the sole purpose of seeing if I can like try and forget a couple of things. Hello, I'm gonna hop down here and fight this bee enemy. Ooh, it's fast. Come on. Oh, 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 okay. It's getting kind of surrounded. Does that say silky? Oh, paralysis. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There we go. We're getting swarmed by bees here. There we go. Now we're starting to clear to thin the herd a bit. Oh, 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 more paralysis. Shit. I wonder if I can wake up faster by mangling on buttons, or if it's just a timer thing. Ah! Well, we can't stand for that. Let's get back up there. Another paralysis. Oh, man. Oh! We are getting our ass handed to us. Now we're starting to... Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. Aha. Alright, one more and then we'll head back to town. I'm gonna deal with this asshole bat since he decided to get in the way, but... Alright, now, back to town. Oh, hey, it's a lizard man thing that we just fought. Also, I'm going the complete wrong way. I believe we need to be headed... Ah, yes, I see it. Oh, we'll pit stop over here. This thing on the way back. No idea what happens if you run completely out of uh, energy. We're not probably going to figure that out, though. 
Wow, it restores at a hell of a fast rate. So that's like totally a non-issue. Oh. Fortunately, we don't actually have our time limiter as far as our wings are concerned, and I've lost where I'm got there we go. Seems the only real limiter here is just uh, the fact that certain areas can't... Oh, I just saw something. Hello! Certain areas you just can't use the... Having your wing button, your dash button, and your pick up items button all on the same... Uh, hello, there we go. All on your same button is kind of irritating, but whatever. So, let's head back to town. And we arrive back, and I see Eagle over there. Hey buddy, what's going on? Let's chat. Oh, Kirito, you're back already. Oh, I think, I believe this is supposed to be kind of a jab at Eagle, saying something like, "Looks like we're back too early for Eagle," and or something like, "Oh, did we keep you waiting because, or you had no time to wait?" Eagle replies, "No, nah, I just got here. Did you enjoy the first quest in the new area?" He points out, yeah, it was a puzzle-solving quest, so it was pretty interesting. The rest of this, my notes say, circle jerk about how good they did on the quest. And it's just, uh... How, I believe... Oh, um, Shinon just asked, how were the other quests? Uh, Sutore? That's her name. Sutore? Yeah, Sutore says they got a rare item, and they talk about how the fight was easy. And then they promptly go right back to, uh, circle jerking each other about the quest. Oh, it was so easy. It was so fun. Our teamwork made the boss fight easy. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Did you solo the boss, or what? Uh, what happened there? Oops. Asuna asks, Oh, is there a, a black, blacksmith shop anywhere around here? I can't find any place to strengthen my weapon. Eagle answer, answers that he is unaware of one. I believe Eagle in the show ran a weapons shop, not a blacksmith shop. That was Liz, so I don't think he would know. Anyway, he, uh, Eagle signs off and says, Okay, it's time for me to peace out. Kirito goes, Hmm, I wonder, do we have enough time to do another quest? I think you're addicted, Kirito. Klein here is explaining, yeah, I'd love to keep doing quests, but I can't. I have an appointment, so I'm going to take off here. Silica says, eh, nobody has any time left, so why don't we just do, uh... 
information collection for now. Which is probably a good idea. Offline information collection. Just listen for rumors and stuff about good quests. Shinon points out that there is a sub-quest still available that shouldn't take too much time. And, as Sutore points out, it's just to go to the local tavern. Here she's pointing it out. Sub-quest is to go to the tavern. Asuna's way too excited to go to the tavern. And we get new party members. We Everybody pretty much has joined our party at this time, including Silica, uh, Sutore, uh, Ri... I can't remember all, all names, but there's one, two, three, four new party members. Hooray! We will never use them. I might show them off in a video if it's a relatively boring video, but as far as uh, they're concerned, they can just sit in the hotel room and do the re let us do the rest. Here is where we will be headed next time for the quest to the sub uh, for our sub quest to go to the tavern. You can tell the tavern up there on the uh, it's the tavern because up there on the mini map. There's a martini glass. Hooray! And for the potion shop, we have a potion. Pretty straightforward. The inn, our real destination, is just a door, I believe. But, for now, I'm going to call this a part. We completed a very, very hard boss battle. And we managed to actually, uh, supposedly get a rare item. In between next parts, I'll take a look, figure out if that rare item is kicking about somewhere in our inventory or something. Yeah, there's stuff in... Yeah, I think this might be it. Because... I don't remember having a sword prior to that fight. Nevertheless, I will do some more translating, and hopefully next time we will get a real quest that isn't just uh, an introduction quest and we get to do some real dungeoning with uh, Kirito here anyway for now that'll be all until next time later